An ambulance training centre might be one of the last places you expect to be plagued by paranormal activity, but Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre was, despite being a brand new building on Paradise Lane, Pelsall. Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre, demolished back in the 1980s, was a modern building situated in Paradise Lane, Pelsall. The fact that it was a modern building suggested that paranormal activity had more to do with the land it was on rather than the building. When researching paranormal activity at Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre, I was fortunate enough to be put in touch with a number of people who had worked there and who had experienced paranormal activity at the centre. The member of staff who I spoke to told me that the presence of ghosts at the ambulance training centre was a well-known fact, particularly the grey lady. The lady went on to tell me that the kitchen and one of the classrooms at the ambulance training centre was very much a hot spot for paranormal activity and doors in the building were often slammed by unseen hands. The next member of staff who I spoke to was a cleaner at the ambulance training centre and although she did not believe in ghosts she did believe that there was something of a presence in the building. She told me that on one occasion when she was making one of the beds in one of the rooms she was unable to straighten the creases out of the sheet. Then when she looked at the bottom of the bed the indentation there suggested that something was sitting on the end of the bed, pulling the sheets down. The cleaner was shocked at first, then quickly gathered herself and told it to get lost. The presence then moved. The cleaner also told me how one of the student nurses once commented to her that she had felt a presence in her room all night. Once told about the ghosts, the student nurse never slept at the ambulance training centre again. The outhouses in the grounds of the ambulance training centre were always regarded as a no-go area and avoided at all costs. No one ever liked to be left alone at the ambulance training centre, she went on to tell me. I was also told about two other cleaners who experienced paranormal activity at the ambulance training centre and talk freely with the ghosts, one of whom was described as a man in black. In her experience, the cleaner recalled that the ghosts at the ambulance training centre were friendly rather than sinister, but was very clear to add that the ghosts were very much amongst staff at Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre. After being told about paranormal experiences had here, I decided to delve into the history of the grounds of Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre and what an interesting history it had. In 1311 the first church in Pelsall was built here. In front of it was a small burial ground which dated back to 1763. The tiny burial ground still exists today and a few ancient gravestones can be seen propped up against the surrounding wall. In 1834 the church was demolished. Between 1785 and 1917, Pelsall Hall was owned by the Charles family, and in 1856, Pelsall Village Hall was built by the Charles family. It is believed that the Village Hall was built directly on the foundations of the 1311 church, and the doors of the church were said to be used as the front doors to the Village Hall. In 1917, Pelsall Hall was sold by the Charles family to Walsall Health Authority and on the 23rd of October 1918 Pelsall Hall TB Sanatorium was officially opened. At this time there was no cure for tuberculosis which often proved to be a fatal disease. Occupants of the SAN, as it was fondly known, only had fresh air as their possible cure. All adult patients were housed outside of the hall. The men's pavilion, which housed mostly ex-servicemen, was a brick-built construction which was situated on the left-hand side of the hall 
and extended down to Paradise Lane. Women were housed in wooden huts which were scattered all over the grounds. The children occupied the first floor of the hall and had to sleep with their windows open. At that time the village hall was used as a dining area. Pelsall Hall TB Sanatorium closed in 1950 and became a training school for nurses up until 1965. The men's pavilion continued to be used as part of the nurses training school and was still in use in the early 1980s. One of my readers recalled that as a child in the late 1970s, early 1980s, he visited Pelsall Hall with his school to do chalk rubbings of textured surfaces in the grounds of the hall. Whilst there with his class, he was taken to what used to be the men's pavilion. He recalled that when he visited, the old pavilion building was being used as classrooms. One of the classrooms had medical posters on the walls, tables and chairs, and a skeleton hanging from a wooden frame in the room. In 1985, the village hall was demolished to make way for the new ambulance training centre, which was built where Paradise Grove is today. Taking into consideration the history of the grounds, it could be said that it is hardly surprising that Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre was haunted. If you would like to share your paranormal experience at Pelsall Ambulance Training Centre, please get in touch.